Hi, my name is Mark Frascator, and I'm the Dean of the College of Business Administration here at Niagara University. I'm talking to you today from my home amidst the quarantine, but I wanted to share with you some insights and a snapshot of our College of Business and our university to show you what sets us apart from others. And I want to show you that coming to Niagara University for a business education is an outstanding choice. First, we are accredited by the governing body called AACSB. It's an accrediting organization called the Association for the Advancement of Collegiate Schools of Business. You don't need to remember that name. What you should remember though is that this is the highest accrediting body in the world and fewer than 5% of all schools of business in the world have that designation. The job of this accrediting body is to visit the colleges of business every five years and to essentially audit them. So they come to visit us every five years to make sure that we are teaching our classes with qualified faculty, faculty who are qualified both, both professionally and academically, that our curriculum is up to date, that we're teaching what we say that we're teaching, and we're doing what we say we're doing, and we are. So the fact that we are AAC is accredited, you'll know that, and you can have the confidence that we are teaching our courses with qualified faculty and a curriculum that's up to date and current. We have academic majors that suit any interest in business. First, our ma one major is accounting. Accounting students can also minor in fraud examination. Uh, interestingly, accounting students have a 100% placement rate within three months of graduation. What that means is every single one of our accounting graduates has either a job or are enrolled in graduate school. So your odds are pretty good of having a good career in accounting. We also have majors in economics and finance. Many of these graduates go on to great careers in the banking industry or insurance industries. In Western New York in particular, we have lots of graduates going to M&T Bank, HSBC Bank, and also beyond. We also have a major in management. And in management, there are three possible concentrations. One is international business, another in human resource management, and then another in global supply chain management one of our flagship centers in our college. Lastly, we have a major in marketing. And in marketing, we have a concentration in food marketing. Food marketing is also one of our three flagship, flagship centers in the College of Business, along with supply chain and the Family Business Center. But food marketing is also a great concentration, particularly in Western New York, because Western New York is the greatest concentration of food industry companies in the United States. Companies like Rich Products, Wegmans, the Clorox Company, Perry's Ice Cream are all here out of Western New York. These companies take a special interest and serve on our food marketing board to ensure that our students are getting the education that they need. These companies also ensure that our students get internships so that they have the qualifications that they need when they graduate. Speaking of internships, let me talk a little bit about uh, our student experience here. We encourage every single student to get an internship and some professional experience before they graduate. In fact, it's almost imperative now. Many companies actually, when they hire graduates full time, they first look back at the pool of interns that they've had. So if Rich Products comes back to campus and says, we want to hire somebody full time, they're going to look at Niagara graduates who've already done internships with that company. And they do that. They hire our students for internships all the time. Some of them have two and even three internships with the same company. Incidentally, our faculty, like I said, are both practitioners and scholars. By the practitioners, we mean that they have been out in the industry. They've worked. They have experience. They know people. In fact, they often take their classes out to visit companies. Our classes are small. We have classes of 20 or so and our faculty can take them out to companies and our students can sit with the people who are working in those companies to see what their jobs are. Just this past year, I tagged along with one of our professors, Professor Jim Kling, to go to Praxair. So he brought a group of his students to the company, did a tour of the company, and we all actually sat down with some of the workers while they did their job, and they essentially tutored us on what they do and how they do it. And it was a remarkable way for our students to get a little bit of education, but also more importantly, contacts within the industry. This is how jobs, this is how jobs are gotten. So, and we do this kind of thing all the time. 
Much like our internships, I also would like to see every student do a study abroad in some way. I would like to, to be that if a company looks at a Niagara University College of Business graduate, they know automatically that this student has had internship experience and has had some study abroad experience. So I would love for any, every student to study abroad in some way. That might mean doing a full semester abroad with one of our many partner institutions around the world. Students can do a full semester study abroad. Uh, these courses are in English, so you don't need to know a second language. Many students can't, like an athlete cannot do a semester abroad, for example, uh, or don't want to. But So we also have these two to three week trips with a faculty member that are specialized to particular industries in those other countries. For example, one of our accounting professors, Dr. Ian Burt, brought a group of students to Ireland last year. And they visited some accounting companies and other companies to visit their accounting departments and see how things differed in Ireland as compared to the U.S. They also, of course, took some time for some sightseeing. This past January, I had the privilege of tagging along with one of our finance professors, Professor Ed Hutton, to London. He took a group of students to London to study the financial center there. We visited J.P. Morgan. Uh, we taught classes on the introduction of finance and financial systems into England and Europe. And of course, we did a lot of sightseeing and walking. So Buckingham Palace, Westminster Abbey, you name it, we saw it. So that was a 10 day trip. And even short trips like this matter. Some of these students have actually never been out of Niagara County. We wanna make sure that they do. We want them to see something that they've never seen before and that they have a story to tell when they're sitting in an interview or working with their colleagues. So that's a qu pretty quick snapshot of our college. Um, in summary, really what I want to ensure as dean is that every student, every graduate of our College of Business has an excellent modern education, has some experience in the industry, has some international experience, and also has an education that's founded in our Vincentian values. What that means is we value ethics and service. Those two themes cut through all of our courses, and you're going to get that as the underlying foundation of our education. So thank you for listening this long. Uh, I am always here for anybody to call or to email me. I'm always happy to answer questions, and I hope to see you soon.